Hello, this is Vaughn, and this video is going to show how to install the Heavy Poly Materials pop-up, which is super duper cool. It looks like this. It has a lot of little magical scripts and stuff built into it, which make the material editing and creation and deleting and everything process uh, a lot easier and simpler. So the other cool thing is that this is a pop-up, which means if I'm in full screen mode, I can bring up the pop-up, do my stuff, and then jump out of it real quick. So it's very streamlined and very non-intrusive, especially if you're if you're trying to work in full screen. Um, so let's start off with a brand new, fresh Blender. So I've got um, so I just went to BlenderBuilds.org and downloaded uh, a new Blender and a portable version of Blender, which means this, this is the type of Blender that's um, enclosed in one folder and it's not actually installed. So this is a portable install of Blender. Um, if you already have Blender, you can just do this, follow these steps too, wherever you've, you've got Blender installed. So you go into your folder here and then scripts and then start up. In here, this will not be there, but you just go to our our tutorial or the pop-up downloads and just copy paste that right into here into startup now we're going to go back and back and back one so um, okay so if you already have blender and you have a custom setup or you've you've changed some settings and you have your own setup that you're um, happy with and you spend a lot of time doing you want to back up your your settings so you can go and find your settings here depending on what operating system you're on so I'm using Windows for now so I'm I'm gonna find it in app data so if I go to my browser if you're on Linux or OS X go here and uh, you, you probably have to change the number depending on what version of blender you have so let's go to App Data, Blender Foundation, and just go in here in the config and make sure if you have some settings existing in here, make a make a backup of them in case and store them somewhere safe because we're going to be screwing with things a little bit. So okay, let's go back and start up that new Blender. Um, Okay, this is getting confusing. Where am I? All right, I'm I'm gonna go into here. And uh, oh, back one. Open up Blender. Okay, so if I go to File, User Preferences, Input, I'll go down to 3D View, then Object Mode, and all the way to the bottom, add a new one. And this one is called um, popup dot hp underscore materials. Enter. So that's the command to bring up our popup. I'll copy this. That's materials plural. And click here, hit V to assign V. Click here to make it shift V. This can be anything you want, really. And then um, also I'm going to go down to mesh and look for there's actually already there's already a shift v in here under vertex slide so i'm going to uncheck that one to turn it off and then make a new one same thing paste that popup dot hp underscore materials make it v and then shift v okay so let's go shift v and there it is if i switch into edit mode it should also Shift V, bring this up. So if you want to change the color wheel here, you can go to back into user preferences to the top system on the right hand side. And then under the color picker type, I'm using square HSV. There we go. OK, so now uh, the last thing we need to do is install some of the materials that we're using. And they're custom materials. So I'm going to go to File, and then, oh, 
I have to be in object mode now, so I'll switch back to object mode. File, or actually let me delete this cube. I'll right click on it to select it. Hit X, delete, file, append. And now I'm gonna go back to my downloads and look for this heavy poly underscore materials dot blend. Go in here, this is our, our custom materials library. I'll go to object and then cube and then just hit append from library. And here's our new object. I'm gonna switch from blender render to cycles render. And now I'm gonna switch, uh, uh, right click on this thing actually to select it. And now you should see these options for materials and all that, but we don't even need that anymore because we've got our shift V menu. And you should see all of these uh, new materials pop populating in here. So if you see this, then you're pretty much, uh, that means we're very close. The next thing we need to do is save our setup here. So it'll remember this all for next time. So I'm gonna go to file, um, save startup file. And remember before doing this, if you have custom settings, make sure you make a backup of your custom settings, um, like I explained before in the, in the app data. So, all right, let's go. Save startup file and click. So again, let's do that one more time because this is this trips up people all the time. So you go file, save startup file, and then you have to click once more where it says save startup file. Now it's saved. So if I hit shift V, I should, it should bring this up, right? Let's close this whole thing up and open it back and pray a little bit. Okay, great. So if I hit Shift V, we're good, good to go. So there we go. That's, that's the install from scratch. Um, and uh, the next video will show a little demo on how to use it and what it's good for. Okay, see ya.